Hi, my name is Brett King, and on behalf of my co-authors, it is a pleasure to present the results of analyses of hair regrowth trajectories in patients with severe alopecia areata treated with baricitinib. There is limited literature regarding hair regrowth trajectories in patients with severe alopecia areata treated with systemic therapies, which makes it challenging for uh, physicians to set expectations with patients regarding time to response. Therefore, the objectives of the study were to characterize hair regrowth trajectories and to understand patient baseline characteristics that influence response to treatment. This was a post hoc analysis of patients from the BRAVE AA1 and BRAVE AA2 trials of baricitinib. Patients were categorized as responders or non-responders based on the achievement of 30% or greater improvement in SALT score at any point over 52 weeks of treatment, and three responder groups were identified. Considering the 4 milligram baricitinib treatment group, 69% of patients were classified as responders. 33% were early responders, meaning they achieved a SALT 30 within 12 weeks of treatment. 28% of patients were gradual responders, meaning they achieved a SALT 30 response between 12 and 36 weeks and 8% of patients were late responders, meaning they achieved a SALT-30 response between 36 and 52 weeks. Early responders to baricitinib 4 milligrams achieved the greatest clinical benefit during the first year of treatment, with treatment effect plateauing around 36 weeks. Gradual and late responders appear to be on a delayed but upward trajectory over 52 weeks of treatment. Baseline disease severity influenced the likelihood of response and whether a patient was an early gradual or late responder. In particular, patients with baseline disease severity with a SALT score of 50 to 94 were more likely to be an early responder than patients with baseline SALT score of 95 to 100. The identification of three responder subgroups to baricitinib treatment and the observation that segregation into these subgroups is influenced by baseline disease severity adds to our understanding of alopecia areata and may help guide expectations of treatment.